Justin Trudeau was responsible for inviting President Zelensky to the House of Commons to give that speech. He was responsible for making the event a success. He is responsible for the officials at Global Affairs, the Intelligence Services, the Prime Minister's Protocol Office, all of him whom could have and should have asked for a complete vetted list of every one of the people who would be in the room and in proximity of a wartime leader. Every single person ought to have been vetted for their diplomatic and security sensitivities if the Prime Minister and his massive apparatus were doing their jobs. The Prime Minister is now responsible for the biggest single diplomatic embarrassment in Canadian history. And what has he done with that responsibility? He's been hiding out at his cottage. For three days he's hid there instead of coming to the House of Commons and taking responsibility. There's always someone else to blame when it comes to Justin, to Justin Trudeau. But here's the reality. Responsibility and power go together. If he wants the power, he has to take the responsibility and come to the floor of the House of Commons today and apologize to Jews, Poles, Ukrainians, and all Canadians. Justin Trudeau, do your job. Stop hiding. Vous avez... Take responsibility and apologize. Thank you, you very much. What will an apology do for the Prime Minister needs to let the world know that he takes responsibility for this colossal failure that is the result of his personal negligence. He needs to pick up the phone and personally call President Zelensky and apologize to him. He needs to pick up the phone and call Jewish groups, not just in Canada but around the world, and apologize to them. He needs to reach out to the Polish uh, embassy and apologize to Poles all around the world to let them know that he takes ownership for the massive harm and embarrassment and shame that his negligence has brought upon our country. Well,